hundred. Not a damn thing happens if it keeps getting worse. If you look at our deficit, we're last in countries. Yeah. But yet, yeah. everything else is number one. Well, no, I wasn't going to say that, but I was going to say, name a country. Right. Um, Haiti. What's right. their deficit? It's smaller than ours, but I wouldn't necessarily want to train places. Right, so, right, 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 right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, well, let's go Let's go down that route, though. But, like, that's what I'm saying. So, 44 trillion. What does it matter? Is what, what, you what does it matter unless, like some people say, China calls one day and says, yeah, we want money. Then it matters. Okay, but, <laughs> so, you know what we do, right? If we really want to pay the money back, mm-hmm. we end the world. How do we end the world? <laughs> oh. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Right, we all just need to take care of it, damn it. Little by little, what you doing, man? If you, you know, it's just, it's just in the gangster world, you know, they say when you can't pay your debt, you blow the joint, right? Mm-hmm. That, that's what well, you is do. That, is that how you do it? Yeah, that's the game. That's how gangsters do. Yeah, when you can't pay it, you just blow it. When you can't pay it. Pay the check, you bounce. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just get out the whole situation. So, what you do is the way you end the world is you print up forty-four trillion U.S. dollars and you send it to Japan. The whole economy goes to shit. That's it. Once the dollar drops, it, it, that's it. The whole world goes to shit. So that's one way. The other way is to say, okay, cool. We stop all the imports, exports. We pay them off, and that's done. That also ends the world because without world economy, without world commerce, everybody. Eventually and slowly but surely has this horrible situation where mm-hmm. they can only sell goods to people in their own country There's no money in that you have to sell goods export get outside money So basically I agree with MC what what the shit that doesn't, doesn't matter what the deficit <coughs> is because China ain't gonna call us on that just like we yeah. <laughs> I mean, know, now, just, now, It's like now. we ain't gonna just pay it when they do call, I'm saying. We're not just going to be like, well, his, here's our first question. He's not going to let them down. He's going to help out his the, ally, Japan. The thing, the thing is, they would have to come with fists. fists. They would have to come with guns. They would have to come. That's, that's all the way they're going to get their money back. Mm-hmm. So it's only leverage. That $44 trillion represents leverage, negotiation leverage. As long as there's something to leverage with. As long as there's a benefit in commerce. Because as soon as they say, give us all our money back, there's no benefit. Sorry, I'm laughing a lot. Yeah. It's related to this. We're having this discussion back where I live, down in Lake Jackson. Uh-huh. Working for Dow Chemical, and there's people there from all around. All around. All around. Parts of the country. And we're having this discussion, and we're making the point that basically America's fucking up. Mm-hmm. We're getting all this debt. And China's coming up, and they own half of our debt. Mm-hmm. Right. And all those engineers are talking like we're smart and everything. <laughs> from the back of the room, we hear this guy from Grenada. Right. I right. guess it's actually Grenada. Uh, the big G, little O, whatever it is. Right. Out in the country somewhere. <laughs> he says, we say, well, you know, China owns most of our debt. I reckon they can have it. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, it's like, so, we owe them money, what are we going to do about it? <laughs> so, it makes the same point, it's, it's like, like you, if they call in, they say, it's due tomorrow, we're going to say, yeah. Yeah, right, okay. It's in the mail. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think as long as there's no self-sustaining country, because mm, no country right. it is self-sustaining, is like you said. then we're good. We're good. Because you're always, we're always going to need something from each other. All right. Shout out to Eddie Murphy again. Can we get Eddie Murphy's comment read? Eddie Murphy, he states, here we go. Part of the problem is these big companies will charge the government outrageous prices for products. The U.S. is also very good about giving money to other countries or are slow at collecting. Well, thank God for slow collecting because we have a lot of money. <laughs> he continues with, um, there's also the fact that most of these sell out of American companies have gone to other countries to make goods and make a lot of money. All right. Pretty accurate. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, it all boils down to Ooh, the fact that. We need to pause for a second.